Hello Virgo, thank you so much for tuning in. This is going to be your June 2019 money and career reading. If this reading resonates with you, please be sure to hit the like button and um, just tap on the red subscribe button on the bottom left hand side of the video so that any other videos that I post in the future will come up automatically on your YouTube feed. If the video, if this uh, reading does not resonate with you, please keep in mind it is a general reading. It is not for everybody. And also be sure to check your moon and rising sign, okay? Um, I am taking personal readings right now. You can go to my website at www.thetaroflight.com. Um, I am giving $10 off on anybody's first reading. And for my YouTube subscribers, I am also pulling one name a month for a full 60 minute video, uh, reading on both love and finance. All right, so let's go ahead and get started, Virgo. What messages do we have for Virgo for money and career, June 2019? Virgo, money and career, June 2019. Virgo, money and career. Virgo, money and career, June 2019. All right, Virgos, let's get started. The underlining energy of the reading is the Two of Pentacles, okay? So this is financial instability right now, Virgo, okay? You're feeling very much like you're juggling everything. There's an imbalance, financial instability, and, and that's your energy right now. So where we're at is the world, okay, the world. So you want something to come to a completion and you want success. You want this past life of financial instability to come to an end and you want success. That is what you are looking for right now. Now we have the four of pentacles, I'm sorry, the four of cups crossing you though, okay? So what that means is you have these three full cups here, you have the universe handing you this cup, but you have your arms folded here and you're just miserable. You're miserable, Virgo. You can't get out of your head. You can't get, you know, you're just this sorrowful over the past. You're just kind of looking at every bad thing in your life and focusing on that and not on the victory that you want to achieve. Okay, deep down inside, you want all of this past, all of this, what this, what this represents, all of this, this, instability, financial instability, emotional instability, everything that's happening here, you want it to end and you want a new cycle to begin, but at the same time, you're allowing this to cross you and to delay that. The best that can happen here is that everything comes crashing down and you get that illumination that you're looking for. So basically, I mean, in order for something to come to a full cycle and end and something new to begin, it has to come crashing down and for it all just needs to come burning down and something new needs to be built there, okay? Now, the reason for this reading is going to be the Six of Pentacles. Again, balance, balance, Virgo, okay? We're looking for balance here. So the Six of Pentacles is, um, it could be money coming in, it could be you borrowing money from somebody or somebody lending you money, okay? But ultimately, I really feel that because the energy of the reading here is the Two of Pentacles, balance. You're looking for balance here. Now, in the recent past, you have the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands means that in the recent past, you were either in a position in a workplace or you were self-employed in a place where there was just too much competition. There was, there was just competition, strife. It was so much work holding your ground. So you may have been a business owner or you were an employee where it, there was just a lot of headaches at this job, a lot of competition, a lot of strife, a lot of having to hold your own ground. Um, but that is in the recent past. 
Now, in the recent future, we have the Three of Wands, okay? So as I said, I mean, you're looking out on the horizon. You have that whole, you know, play, that whole, it, it's like a, a what, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a blank canvas and you want to grow. You want to grow here. What am I going to grow? Where am I going to go? What am I going to do, okay? And Wands is career. So, you know, you're, you're asking yourself, what do I want to do with my career? What do I want to grow into? What do I want to accomplish, all right? Again, you want something to end and you want something new to begin. So your current headspace right now is the Four of Wands. So you are celebrating some success, Virgo. You have maybe made a step forward. You are trying. You are thinking about it. I mean, so we're coming out of this headspace of you being miserable here. And we're now we're, we're looking out into the horizon. Okay, so that is progress. That is progress, Virgo. So there is a little bit of victory there. Um, there is some, oh, that's upside down, sorry. There is some uh, celebration after that success. You may finally decide, okay, this is the route that I wanna take. And you know, you're really happy about that. Now your current environment is the queen of wands. So, so, so your current environment is, you're, you're just too laid back, Virgo. You're too laid back, you're not, I mean, this is just the free spirit who's just kind of, um, I mean, la da da. I mean, you see how kind of how laid back she is, okay? Um, so we have communication here. So you may be, you know, talking to friends, family about certain things, but you're very laid back. I don't see you taking action here. And that's your current situation. What is your biggest hope and fear? The King of Pentacles. Okay, so your hope is that you're going to be a business owner, that you're going to be on top of things, that you're going to be top dog, and your biggest fear is also being a business owner, being top dog, having all the responsibility, having all the headaches. Am I going to make it? Am I going to succeed? Because, you know, owning your own business or getting that promotion, being CEO, being promoted comes with a lot of responsibility. So it is your biggest hope and it is also your biggest fear, Virgo. What is the outcome? The King of Wands. Okay, so the King of Wands is you taking action towards a new, um, a new career. Okay, this is again, it is someone free spirited. It is someone who. Um, so you're still going to remain the same person. I don't see a lot of action being taken here. I do see you making very slow movement towards coming out of this headspace that you're in to move towards your goals. Um, but the King of Wands is a good sign because it is it is a career, and if when it comes down to movement, like you're going to start moving towards your top goals of your careers. Okay, so. If we look to clarify the financial instability, here we have a new beginning in career. So again, it is it, it is slow. I do feel slowness here, Virgo. I don't feel like you're really like, I don't see any swords, you know, I don't see any action or energy, um, but I do see a lot of communication. Um, I do see messages coming in. I mean, there is fire here, so you are starting to get fired up about it. But ultimately, I feel like you're coming out of, you know, maybe this job really, you know, got to you, okay? Maybe this this business that you owned or this previous, you know, place of employment, um, because this is a lot of strife, competition, uh, standing your ground, you know, maybe it got to you and it kind of puts you in a bad head place uh, and you have to get out of it. But you do want it to end. I mean, ultimately, you do want something to come to an end and you want success. So I see you coming out of it. I see you starting to think about what you want to do, thinking about your goals. You're going to be happy. You're happy about where you are, okay? You're happy about what you're doing right now, Virgo, all right? You're happy about, you know, the fact that you're coming out of a bad situation, thinking about what you want, and slowly thinking about how you're going to get there, okay, Virgo? All right, again, if you like the reading, please click the like and subscribe button at the bottom of the video. Take care, God bless, and have a great day.